All right, guys, today we got a 08 Prius, uh, Toyota Prius. Uh, I got a little uh, job to do to this one. The problem with this job is it has a 3M film on it. So chances are this is probably towed behind a motorhome or uh, on the highway a lot. Uh, we used to install this at the dealer. A 3M would come in and do it. There was a company that would uh, put the film on. Uh, using the heat gun to pull this off, we're gonna have to remove it from the bumper cover. The whole bumper is covered with it, and uh, we need to fix those holes in the cover. So we're gonna have to pull the film off, and uh, I've never had to take it off before. Hopefully, it'll just come off with the heat gun, pull right off. So figured we'd turn the camera on and see what happens here. Simple little fill the hole job uh, turns into pulling this film off. Andrea missed that when she did the estimate. So we're just gonna have to go ahead and uh, incorporate that into the repair. So I got the heat gun out, uh, got the solder gun to fill the holes here when we get the film off, if that happens. And uh, we'll see how it goes here. You can see that it does darken the color just a little bit, but uh, I'm really surprised as how uh, shiny this stays. It's uh, pretty decent. So I guess that would be considered like a clear wrap, you know. It's the same uh, vinyl technology they use on the wraps. So pretty amazing. Stuff holds up pretty good. This car's three or four or five years old now. So all right, let's go ahead and set you guys up. Get the heat gun on and uh, see if we can lift the corner on this stuff. Pull this off on one big sheet. Uh, look for a corner, you know. It's on the fender too. So I'm going to pull it from the bottom so I don't affect any of the film on the other panels. And we'll grab it down here at the bottom of the bumper and see if we can pull it off in one sheet. Looks like it might have a seam right here. Maybe not, though. It's got a scratch here they want it repaired, and it's actually the film that's damaged. So it's uh, 50 degrees, 49 degrees here today. A little cold. Chrysler's gone, obviously. We've got this one to knock out, and I got another uh, CTS Cadillac cover. So we'll be able to start the repair after an hour of uh, 
feeling this stuff off, I'm sure. I'm gonna go ahead and heat the whole buffer up, bigger section. See if I can, uh, too bad it wasn't just a scratch, because uh, I think the scratch would come out with the peel off, but uh, we're going to do that repair. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, 
like in a snow region, you know, they didn't stretch. Might be good for the lower quarters and stuff. See it just sucking right back to the bumper. So, uh, trying to get it to loosen up a little bit, a little tight.
of the residue there. Let's come back to some grease. We'll actually give her something. Most of the residual blew up. This could take a while, guys. I hope this isn't too boring. Maybe some of you guys have seen this before, and uh, maybe some of you guys haven't run into this. I'm gonna have to get all this off the it's uh covering the whole bumper. And uh I don't think you want to do a repair on top of this or try to clear over it. I think when you have to do a repair it's pretty much time to take it off. I haven't seen the Honda yet, it should be coming today, I would imagine. But, uh, like I said, we got a Cadillac after this one. We got a road uh, estimates on three cars, and got all three of them. Just lost my cord. So this is gonna be a nice boring video. Not many videos out there though from the garage gang guys. So I had to subscribe to a lot of you guys. Resubscribe, I should say. Uh, I think when some of you changed from your old name to your uh, actual name, I noticed a lot of guys did that. You came unsubscribed from me. Or you might have just unsubscribed, I don't know. But I usually go back and resubscribe one time and then I start getting the videos again. Uh, yeah. This is what's going on here. Thinking about starting up the uh, scratch and dent business again. Uh, market's right for it, you know. And uh, you know, I buy a truck and put a guy in a truck that might make some money. So. Mobile repairs, not here. Going to be a big car lot, uh, doing bumpers and stuff. Used to do that. Had two trucks actually. Uh, when I got hurt, I stopped doing it. And uh, there's a big market for it right now. The 
guys can't get stuff done apparently if people won't show up to do it. And uh, pretty big market right now to be captured there. It's coming off a little easier now. The other side was pretty tight, but it seems to be moving now. So it's always easier when you can get it one big piece. been working on the stereo and the bug. I tried to just put a regular radio in there and uh, put a Kenwood deck. No amp though, you can't hear it when the car is running. So. Might have to put a little amp and a subwoofer in there, get a little sound in there to hear it. So I might be working on that. And uh, actually went inside the motorhome yesterday and plan on working on that a couple hours a day. Gonna get some power out there and uh, start working on that thing, getting it ready for some camping this summer. Uh, fortunately, we live in near the Ocala Forest, so there's plenty of places to camp and uh, close to the house, so it doesn't take a lot of gas. And, uh, I just let that thing go, and uh, now I got to pay the piper and get, get it back in shape. Now they say, now they say cooking with gas. There we go. So we got no scratches to tan with, just a couple holes now. And uh, I guess we'll make this a how to peel the protect the coating off and the next one how to uh, fill those holes with a soldering iron, you know? I'll let that cool. It looks like it started melting right there a little bit. Yep, core there. So I promise the next video will be uh, equally as boring, probably. But uh, I wasn't really planning on running into this this morning. I didn't see it on the hood yesterday. But uh, you can see this scratch right here, though. It's going to disappear. And uh, there's some deep scuffs in this side, too. They, they came out of the other sky. It's just uh, the film scratch. So this stuff works pretty well. Uh, cover seems to be in pretty good shape underneath it. I went in those holes somebody put in it. I don't think they like that kind, so we're going to take care of the holes for them.
Oh, that's a pretty good sized piece working here. It was uh, coming apart on the other side for some reason. But that bottom piece down there ripped. Hopefully we can uh, pull it off of this piece. There goes our scratch, so it's going to disappear. Definitely not on the other side of the film. So this, this stuff's pretty thick. Should be good on a drag car back in the area where the rubber builds up on the quarter panel. You know, you really don't see it too much. And uh, definitely we keep the, the rubber off the uh, quarter panel. Maybe good on a motorcycle also by the, uh, over some artwork, you know, by the gas cap. Of course, I don't know if the, uh, it's got an OEM appearance, you know, it probably wouldn't be slick enough for covered artwork though. Sure does protect underneath the plastic though, it's in very good shape under here. So it's cut in half right there, just like the other side. So hopefully everybody's doing good. Uh, not too much snow. Hopefully uh, people's projects are coming along. and buy your uh, film the color of your car and it won't be anything. It's got to be where this technology is at. So I'm going to take a couple of my uh, big block parts over to my uh, buddy's hydro dipping shop. We're going to Dips and stuff and some carbon fiber. Uh, I might start working over there a couple days a week, clearing parts for them. Get out of the house. Gonna get some sort of a part-time job somewhere. I'm going crazy. So got a couple uh couple job offers just gonna go uh, follow up on the leads. And, uh, only looking for one or two days a week. Something to uh, break the monotony up a little bit. So, just gotta decide what I want to do. I think the 
the dipping business would be up my alley. It's not uh, greasy like the other option. So I did have another option for uh, a different place, but I would get uh, greasy, so I don't think I want to get greasy. No offense. But, uh, it's hard to get that grease off, you know? It would be new grease, bro. But, uh, we might still do option number two, I don't know. There we go, this is coming off all right. I'm gonna move this on down the line and uh, wrap this video up. <coughs> well, that's not good. Anyway, you guys know how much to charge to pull this off the bumper now. Yep. Uh, anyway, I'll probably just turn the camera right back on and do another video of filling these holes up. And uh, the next one will be painting this. And I'll show you the no dust trick. And uh, this will be going back and we'll be on to the next, next piece of uh, fun. couple days since I had this little thing done. I almost don't know how to act. I almost don't know how to act. Uh, I've been in pain for so long that uh, I forgot what it was like to feel normal. And uh, unbelievable. So I'm going to say thanks to uh, Dr. Webster. And uh, all the people there that work with them took good care of me. It's like going back to an old friend. And uh, I damn sure feel really good. I'd say I got double the strength that I had. And it ain't lying. I mean, you can ask Andrea. I mean, I, I haven't picked anything up, but I was getting so weak that I could barely walk. And, uh, I don't know what it said. We got a lot more power now. Sports do what they do, you know, to get more uh, power. There's no way that you can uh, get that strong that fast working out, you know. It's amazing what drugs can do. The right ones. All right, that piece here is going to be difficult. Lost the edge. It's right here. Well, I got it off. Looks like just a little residual glue you now. Make sure that it's all gone. I'm not feeling any edges. It's got a pretty good uh, film build on it, you know, so you can feel it. I feel a piece down here. You definitely want to get it all off because that'd be a mess when you uh, go to clear coat. <laughs> I'm 
think we got the last piece right there. We're going to heat this up one more time, make sure. Hopefully that didn't bore the crap out of you. 36 minutes of that. Alright guys, 